I mean, Terrence, you know, half tongue in cheek, wrote the foreword to to the psilocybin mushroom growers guide, saying, you know, the mushrooms intelligence and it has in- intelligent, it has information about how to build technologies and and uh, and things like that. But if you really have to, if you really think about the the whole SETI thing and the you know uh, 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 communication with extraterrestrial intelligence and all the efforts to detect radio signals, uh, you know, from an advanced civilization. I mean, the premises that surround that idea are so naive. It's almost embarrassing, you know, the notion that an extremely advanced technological civilization would even bother with radio, you know, is just silly. No, it's, it ain't going to come that way, or it may come that way, but there's lots of ways that it may come. And I've actually read speculations where people have said, well, you know, you could build an, a message into DNA, which would not be detected uh, until the civilization had reached the point where they could do molecular biology, they could sequence these things, and they could see, you know, that there's actually a, a meaningful sequence of information there. Well, how about make DMT? Yeah, turn the N-methyltransferase on and make a compound that when you take it shows you machines and starships and aliens and weird cities and all this stuff. I mean, what could be what could be less ambiguous? There's no mystery. That is the message. And it's interesting that tryptophan, which is, again, in everything, right, one of these essential amino acids, but, you know, the genetic code... And I don't know whether what you want to infer from this, where I, what I'm getting to, or if anything, but the genetic code is what they call a degenerate code, right? Meaning there are s- the the DNA codes for 64 uh, triplets that code for amino acids, but there are only 20 amino acids, right? So for every amino acid, there's generally more than one codon so it's a redundant thing sometimes the different codons will code ultimately in transcription and protein synthesis for the same amino acids the one exception to this is tryptophan there's only one codon that codes for tryptophan out of all 64 so what does that mean probably nothing but you could speculate and say, well, it's an artifact. It was put there. It was built into the way this whole thing works. And again, it's sort of like the fact that DMT is, you know, it, it, the, the fact that DMT permeates nature so much is kind of like a cosmic joke in a way. It's nature playing with us. It's nature saying, you know, get it? Do you get it? You know, the fact that two steps away from tryptophan, there is a molecule that that opens transcendent dimensions. Aren't we clever? You know, that (laughs) and and maybe the fact that tryptophan is only coded by one codon, maybe that's a maybe that's a sign that at some point, you know, the whole thing was designed or genetically engineered in some way. And I don't postulate I mean you know alien super biotechnologists or whatever you know but they could have done it and if they and I'm not saying they did or that I believe this I'm just saying as a fun thing to speculate it's interesting that it's not that far-fetched you know I mean if they have these technologies and they you know, their time frame is millions of years, billions of years. Who knows what they could have done, you know, back a long time ago to to engineer a situation that they could, you know, figure would evolve to this. 
you know, I don't know. I, I mean, that's what's fascinating about DMT. Nobody knows, <laughs> so we're free to speculate. <laughs>